Chapter 92 None of the doors were locked, which made little sense. I tried opening the door to the school entrance and, to my surprise, found it unlocked. I regained the ability to walk at that moment. It was a pleasant change. Walking through the hallways felt eerie. I was the only person there, and the silence was eating me alive. Everything had a strangely menacing aura that I could not explain, it was just off. I felt like I was being watched by someone or something, but I couldn't see anyone when I looked around. I did, however, hear people I knew laughing at me. I wanted to tell those stupid voices to shut up but realized that it probably wouldn't have worked, anyway. If I had my phone with me, I would have played 1979 by the Smashing Pumpkins to drown out the horrible voices. There's something truly magical about that song. As I walked through the hallways, I started noticing these snow-white spiders that kept dropping from the ceiling. I'd throw them off of me, but more would come as if trying to drive me mad. They tried to bite into my skin and burrow themselves under it, which nearly caused me to have a panic attack. I started running as fast as I could to escape the spiders and ran inside the gym, locking the doors in an attempt to block them out. It worked, sort of, it got rid of the tiny white spiders all right, but instead of them, an eight-foot huntsman spider dropped from the ceiling and started chasing me around the room. I started sweating like crazy at that moment and was genuinely worried that the spider would eat me. I picked up the nearest chair at that moment and threw it, attempting to slow it down, but to my horror, the chair phased through the spider and crashed behind it. Out of ideas, I continued running around the room like an idiot and started seeing writing on all four walls. That said careful what you wish for in my handwriting to make matters even creepier. This is random, but I might have the worst script out of everyone in this world, I sometimes struggle to write on the lines. Eventually, I got tired of running and knew that I couldn't escape the spider. The spider pinned me down like a WWE wrestler and started dragging me across the floor while I screamed like a little girl. Whatever was going to happen next, it would not be pleasant. Despite being exhausted, adrenaline was still coursing through my blood. I kicked the spider in a desperate attempt to escape. It worked, and I ran out of the gym, not looking back for a single second. Next, I wandered over to the boys' bathroom and looked at myself in the mirror. To my shock, my entire face looked rotten, like I was a zombie of some sort. I looked down at my hands, and my fingers were rotting away as well, my skin was this strange sickly greyish green colour, and I felt disgusted seeing it. The next thing I knew, I was back at my house. I went downstairs to talk to my parents for a bit. I saw my father first, and when I asked him how his day was going, he turned his head around smiled maniacally. His skin was dark red like a demon, and he had purple horns on top of his head. His eyes were golden yellow, and he had slits like a snake in place of human pupils. It horrified me, my day is going fine, Skipper, how is yours? He asked with a strong hiss in his words as if he was imitating a snake. Fine, I guess. Dad, have you looked at yourself in the mirror lately? I asked, concerned. I did, why, he asked with the eeriest smile. Never mind, I should get going, I replied awkwardly. Next, I ran to the front door as quickly as I could while my father chased me like a panther. He wasn't even human, whatever he turned into was an abomination. I finally made it and opened the door, only to see that below us was an endless black void with nothing or no one in sight. What will it be, Clive, the creature asked, laughing in a sinister tone. You're a lot worse than an endless void, I've made my choice, I said as I jumped outside. I fell at incredible speeds that felt like several thousand miles an hour. I continued falling for several more minutes until something peculiar happened. As I looked around me, I noticed some sort of progress bar, like in a video game. This one represented how close I was to death, with a full bar meaning that I was dead. The sides of my world started shaking and bending as if glitching out, and I saw it rise. Crap, I can't let it get full. The bizarre glitching did not end and got even worse. It got so bad that I couldn't recognize the world I was looking at anymore, it looked like a distorted impressionist painting. Then the worst happened. The bar filled up all the way, and I could feel death slowly overtaking me. 
I felt every part of my body go numb, and strangely, it was quite pleasant. Then my world turned black, and I was again stuck in an endless void. That was when I heard a familiar female voice say, he's finally waking up. It was Audrey's, and after hearing it, I noticed that the scenery started melting away again. I found myself in her house. I have never missed dystopia so much.